God as we your people oh God as we call on your name oh God come and come of your mercies as we of your people oh, oh God as we call on your name oh God come and pour out your mercies as we your hearts let there be transformation Holy Spirit bring change in their families oh God Jesus show yourself beautiful in their hearts manifest your glory your power clean everyone up your Lord Bring us unto righteousness. Implant in our hearts the passion, the fierceness of the Spirit to walk in your statutes, to keep the precept of your ordinances. Oh, show us the depths of your love that we might be engrossed, that we might be lost in the love of the Lord. Oh, Jesus, we seek for you. You are our priority. You are our need. You are our inheritance. You are precious, Jesus. 
We thank you, Lord Jesus. You are holy and righteous. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Joseph, the God of Israel, the creator of the universe, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we worship you. You are the reason we are. And thank you that you have appointed us even in this season to represent your power, your holiness, your righteousness. Oh Lord, I don't know, but I just ask you this morning that you will look upon the hearts of your people and draw them into that deep essence of your word and your callings and your holy callings oh God bring us to the place of perfection that we may walk in your statutes being filled with the knowledge of your will walking worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing that our imaginations will bring praise and glory unto you. That the thoughts of our minds will be pleasing unto thee, O God. That the footsteps of our conduct will praise you. That we might date and guard and be careful how we live, how we talk, how we crave. That we may come into alignment with your glory. For though there is no more time to waste, for the ages have come and gone, for the hour has come, that the day of the Lord has come, and many shall drift away, many shall fall away, and many have fallen out. But Lord, we are grateful that you have also preserved your people from falling away. Oh Lord, in your hands we commit our hearing, in your hands we commit the visions of our sight, in your hands we commit the imaginations and the thoughts of our minds. We seek your will, not our will. We seek the narrow way, not the broad way. We seek the presence of the Spirit and the presence of the Lord. We seek the alignment of the Holy Spirit. We seek that tough way. We seek, oh God, the scourging of your love. We seek the chastisement of your love, precious Holy Spirit. Oh, show us that part of righteousness that we must stand confidently before thy presence and declare the scepter of your righteousness for your kingdom has come your will has prevailed for the lamb has prevailed hallelujah the visions of the Lord are all in the atmosphere waiting for men to ascend into the realms of God and experience the dimensions of his glory and power and kingdom in these last days for the Lord has poured out the lot of glory in the atmosphere. The reins of intimacy are the portals to this exclusive atmosphere where the glory of the latter house has been poured out and established, waiting for the willingness of men to come into alignment with consecration, virgins, and holiness. That they might ascend into these reins and possess this gracious inheritance of the lot of glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. For though we have heard the truth, how much of the truth has prevailed in our lives? Oh, gentle Jesus, I pray this morning that you will knock at the hearts of men one more time and see if they will again respond to that inner calling unto total surrendering to your will. We're not here to seek for what we want. We're here to seek your will. 
Lord, is there anything in us that is one thing? Is there anything in us that has displeased you? We ask for mercies and grace that you might purge us one more time and bring us to that place of perfection that we might be qualified to be used of God even as many are falling away. Oh God, we will not be part of those that will fall out of grace, out of faith, but we might grow stronger and stronger and stronger even in this terrible, terrific, perilous time that we are facing. The clouds of darkness will not cover us, but we shall come under the cloud of the light of God's glory, exempted from the destruction and the falling away that is already in the atmospheres. Oh God, set us free from the compromise of the season. Don't allow us to enter the state of a reprobate mind. Don't let us go into the state of apostasy. But surely thou shalt preserve the remnant. Surely thou have preserved the remnant. Surely you have guarded the hearts of the chosen ones. Thank you because the elect will not be deceived. The elect will not fall away. For thou, O oh God, is holy and just. Thou, O oh God, are eternally immortal, the everlasting King of glory. We thank you for this precious moment of your spirit. And I pray for our generation, O oh God, that you might show your mercies. One more time that you might visit our nations and this generation, just like you visited, that you threw yourself and threw Saul who let up became Apostle Paul. We need the rod, oh, gentle Jesus. This generation needs the rod. And I call on Yeshua to stretch your rod and draw man unto yourself. For we cry out to you, Lord. A shame man of Rahidos. Credipeto Patusisidos. Elephisha Sahido. Lepeko to Prahida Bosch. A Silinataros. Open the portals of righteousness. The portals of encounters. The portal. Fire to purify, to crush, to mortify, to increase our thirst and our desires to know you even deeper and deeper, Holy Spirit. For we thank you, Lord. You are precious, Jesus. You are so holy and righteous. And there is no like you, Yeshua. We know that you have everything on the control. But one thing I ask of you, you will look upon this congregation. You will look upon those watching right now. All nations that are drawn to this assignment. And show them the truths of your spirit. Teleport them into the reins of reality. Bring them into brokenness of spirit that they might experience the oil, the refreshment that comes from that source, from that oil of brokenness. Father, there is an aspect of your glory that this generation must experience. I ask you, God, that you might show them these things, that they might come under the surge of your glory. Oh, Lord, there is that place of brokenness that men have not yet experienced. That brokenness has become the sole access to the place of intimacy with your glory and power. Father, remove the blindness of the season and bring them into the visions of Zion, into the visions of the Spirit, that we might be captured in your presence, captured in your fire, captured in consecration, Captured in holiness, captured in pleasing you, 
not pleasing any man, not pleasing our flesh, not pleasing our hearts, not pleasing our insecurities. Rather, we will be captured in your power, in your glory. I you so you know, captured in your love, and we may break through. Oh God, shows, shows the dimension of the spirit to break through into the dimensions of your love, into the height, the depth, the weight of your love. We want to see you, Lord, because when we see you, we become like you. We are changed. We are transformed. I pray, Lord, that this generation will have a tangible experience of your glory and power. Father, let the days of letter be over, but the days of reality, the days of your glory, will be revealed even in these last days. I pray, Father, as I intercede for everyone, bless their families, bless their health, bless their endeavors, bless, Lord, everything that concerns them. Lord, just as you have shown yourself faithful throughout these generations, I pray that you will show yourself faithful to this amazing congregation. And those of the watching, those on the YouTube, Facebook, and across the nations, thank you, Holy Father, for they have heard my cry. They have heard my prayer. And I bless you, Lord Jesus. For in the name of Jesus we pray. And everybody loud, a thundering, and a lightning, three loudest. Amen. Two. And three. Let's give the Lord a big hand of praise in the house.